Well, welcome, wonderful friends, to the Gypsy and the Witches November project. We are so excited, as always, to bring to you our video. And this month was actually um, a real project for me because it started on the last day, <laughs> the 14th, and I got it done. So, um, you, all of you who have been following me and know that I've moved and are in a little bit of turmoil here as far as trying to get things ready for videos. Uh, finally got some things done and it looks like I'll be able to continue making videos now. So I am very excited and I am trying this month using a bottle that I've had and I love and repurposing it and making it into something cool and definitely was inspired by my lovely sister, the witch, Callie Black. And please don't forget to go check out her video also. I love you guys and uh, I hope you enjoy this. Okay, I am trying to figure out if I'm upside down. Looks like I am. Looks like this is, a, I've got the webcam, I just hooked it up finally. But I'll just flip this, so I'm just trying to see how things are going here. This is finally finally got something set up so I can actually hopefully make some videos and I wanted to do something with clay and I'm hoping I can get through this because my husband is in the middle of um, connecting the gas stove and the electric stove is still plugged in so I'm just hoping I can get this done and get this baked before he takes that out <laughs> And needless to say, this is the 14th, and I have to have this done and uploaded tonight. So I'm hoping that I can get it done. And I forgot the jar. It's going to be it's going to be a glass jar. I've been wanting to do one of these. You know, I watch Callie, and there's a couple of other ladies who do these jars and stuff. Uh, but Callie has inspired me, and since this month's theme was to upcycle, recycle, repurpose. I'm taking one of my jars and I'll bring it down of course and show you. Um, it is a nice big jar that I got from I think it was Costco or BJ. So it had it had um, it had some kind of spice in it. I can't remember. So I'm going to use that and then I've got these purple, I've got black, I've got some uh, white, but really just purple and black. And we had to do something with the moon and the sun. So, uh, or a sun, or both, or whatever, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I'm just um, really happy to be back and uh, set up. And I'll take a picture of my setup. It's not in the cottage, unfortunately, not yet. It's too cold over there, and I haven't finished painting. So I don't want to really be set up there and I get the electric on and all that stuff so I don't want to pay for that unless I'm using it so we're just gonna uh, do things a little at a time with that and then after the winter we should be able to get over there and um, you know I have some people that are going to be coming to help me get it get it going hopefully so um, that's that right now so let me go get that jar and then figure out what I'm gonna roll this on I gotta get um, you know, it's terrible when you don't have all your supplies and stuff because you, you, you get so confused because you're so used to having things at least close by. And I knew where things were in my in my mess of mess, but I knew where everything was. So and my little rolling pin. and So this is what I have so far. Okay, let's do. I have uh, the clay. I have some molds. I have some of these little cutout things. I can only find these few. Uh, I have some beads that I had just bought. Uh, to do another project, but I may use some of them for this project. Little rolling pin, some more beads that I found, and these little things for the clay. So, oh, and this, and then I have the little cutter, and then I have some beads in here, too. And then I have a knife, an old knife that I use, and I think, and then the jar. And then I'll get the jar, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bottle that I'm going to use, and um, I rolled out two of the black right now. I'm going to stamp them, and then I'm going to stick them around. I hope that's how you do it. I don't have time to go back and review, <laughs> so 
So I'm just going to do this and just stamp. This is one of my favorite stamps. Let's see, that I've used tons of times on clay. So let's see. And I'm using parchment paper is what I, that doesn't seem to be making an imprint. Hmm. And my stamp is getting more. It's weird. Okay, so let's just stamp. I just I just kind of want to design through it. Gonna. You know what? I bet you it's because I'm not pressing hard enough. Yeah. And this is a folding table, so it kind of has give to it. So you got to kind of really. using this, I don't know, medallion stamp, just to give it texture. And then I'll just wrap it around. Yep, so all the spaces are. came from. Okay, so I'm hoping two is enough, otherwise I'll have to roll out another one, no big deal. So I think I, I did the do the base in the black. And then I have brown too. I forgot. I have brown. And then the purple. I'm going to wrap it around here and kind of see how this all fits and see if I have to add more and cut and whatever to it, okay? So I will be right back after I've done that and show you what I've done. Okay, so is what I got so far. I had to patch some of it together because, um, you know, I didn't didn't have enough. It did, didn't go. So I just patched it. And I'm going to put some rims around there and some design on the bottom. But for now, that's... Oops, I'm trying to get it. i got to get used to the camera where it is now. So that's what it's looking like now. And I'm going to continue. And then I'll show you once I put some designs and stuff on it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so right now, let me show you where I'm at. I have, I made this moon. Hopefully you can see him. Boy, he's taken me a long time working on him. So, um, got him there. I've got a flower. So I'm just gonna keep going and decorating, but got my moon on here. I may put the sun on here too, but um, I'm just going to keep going and hopefully I'll get to the end. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, here I'm just rolling out some little long, I don't know what you call them, pieces of clay to wrap around the top. And what I've been doing is just wrapping it around the uh, top of the uh, jar and then uh, putting where the seam is just putting a little jewel there you know a little gem so we'll see how that comes out it's I feel like I'm making dough for you know whatever cookies maybe something but yeah and just wrapping it around I'm gonna make sure I get the right length and I'm trying to think of what I want to do to the bottom I was thinking maybe I'll do the same thing but um, I don't know probably do something different so there we go and I'm sorry I am you know out of frame it's just trying to get used to where this camera doesn't come it's not on a boom kind of thing where it comes over and down like my other one was it's just on a tripod so it doesn't go 
over so I have to kind of move everything towards it and I've got to get used to doing that until I get a real setup but for now I'm just happy I have what I have <laughs> so I'm just that's so that's what I'm doing I'm just wrapping the uh, long pieces around the top and then um, just kind of figure out what I want to do next with that I want to make sure the top has you know some design on it and some pretty things you know so just sticking little beads on there and I like that it looks cool and I wind up wrapping two colors together the purple and the black and making kind of like a rope for the last top piece and it really looks cool Okay, so let's see if you can see this. This is what I've done to it. I think I'm going to be done because I have to get it baked. But hopefully it sticks together and comes out good. And then I will finish it with paint and glitter and whatever else. But looking kind of cute for my first time. This was lots of fun. I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's out. It's still a little warm, but I just wanted to show you. Now I guess um, I'll paint it, go over it with paint, and um, just see what happens but that's it baked kind of cool if I had more things I would have you know stuck in more stuff but all my cool things are still packed away so it's going to be very simple um, I'll probably do a tie around and dangle some of the beads down so um, I was thinking of doing that and and then, of course, you know, just painting it and see how that goes. So let me get some paints out. That I have. I found my acrylic paint. So I'm going to see what I want to do. I don't know why we use colors, different colors. We're at clay if we're going to paint over it. But maybe the paint will look different on the different colors, you know. This is really purple, but it looks kind of blue on the camera. But it, it is the purple. Uh, but to me... See, that looks blue, but it's the purple. I guess it's just the way the camera picks it up. So, But that's where I am at right now, and I'm going to just straighten up my work area here. And I found some silver. I found some copper. I found some gold. Let's see if I can find some of my purples and... Um, I don't know. I don't know what else I want to put in there. Maybe... Maybe some blues and I don't know. I gotta see. But hopefully, hopefully I don't mess it up. Hopefully it comes out cool. So I will be right back. I wanted to say I'm very distracted because my husband is working on stuff. So if I sound a little um, short, that's what it is because it's I'm usually, you know, in my room on my own doing stuff. But he's in and out of here working on the stove and it's just it's just a lot of stuff going on so I'm and I'm trying to concentrate on this so I apologize if I sound off a little bit but that that is the reason okay I love you guys and I'll be right back okay I have some paints out I have rag I found one glove so I'm going to put it I think on my left hand um, because I'm going to be dabbing with the other hand. These are the sponges from um, Deco Art. So let's we'll see. And then I have the rag to wipe off. And I've got some metallic colors from Deco Art, um, some regular colors from Deco Art. And then I'm using this color shift. And this is from Folk Art. We'll see how that goes. So, and I have water. So we'll see. I think I'm going to start with this kind of this metallic-y. It's like a, 
I don't know, cranberryish color, and just see how that goes on. If I'm not in frame, I'm sorry, but this camera is kind of away from me. The way it's set up, I have to change that a little bit. So I don't, I don't want the jewels to be painted. So I'm just kind of wiping, putting it on, and then wiping it off. So you can see that metallic-y looking. I kind of don't want, I kind of want the colors I'm thinking to kind of blend together, not actually like, oops, 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 didn't mean to do that, stand out on their own. Does that make sense? Kind of. my little goddess girl here. I know I'm going to get it all over my hands, but I wish the color would come out better. Um, this is really more of a teal, this color, and it's, I'm going to have to adjust this. You know, let me go in and adjust the color. It's driving me crazy. Because it's nice, the color is really nice. I'm going to adjust the color. Gosh, I haven't done this in so long, I forget how to, how to do this stuff. Oh, you know what? <sighs> goodness, goodness, goodness. I have a webcam thing that I downloaded that takes care of the colors and stuff. Like if you need to adjust, I can see that. Uh-huh, uh-uh, no, that's too dark, isn't it? Oh, that's dark. Yep, and that's too dark. Okay. Well, that, okay, let me go in. Uh, and go in here and... Well, you know what? much better. Okay, I think this shows the colors better. Maybe? I hope. Well. Whoa! Goodness, messy, messy. Yeah, it does. of blending them together. And let's see. This is kind of, that's more of a blue. Let's get some green in here, yeah. I don't know why, but I feel like a little green. Definitely fun. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing that and I will come back when I get that pretty much coated. Okay, right back. Okay, so let's see. You can see this. It's kind of really cool. Coming out nice. All the colors are kind of blending in something more like a rainbowy kind of, you know, color. So I think I'm going to go over that with some black and once that dries and then some gold or silver and just kind of fix that up. That's my washing machine if you hear that beeping. <laughs> it sings to us when it's done to let us know. Um, and, you know, I was thinking I had done that. Um, I don't know if any of you had seen the video and I will put it in the below and also I'll put Callie's video below of her doing some of these jars and uh, there was another lady and I have her saved too that I will put her video below but one I was thinking about was the one uh, when I was coloring this when I was painting it was the one that I had done um, it was it was like a goddess I put it on my door in my old studio and I did a video on it and it was made out of I think I did it on a tile and then I did it with the polymer I loved it and I left it uh, I didn't want to rip it off the door when I left and it was really cool and um, I'm kind of sorry I left it but I thought you know if I take it off it that's not really nice and then you know I would have to figure out what to do with the door and you know to fix it and the lady that purchased our house supposedly was into uh, crafting and stuff so that's why she liked my studio downstairs and uh, so I hope I hope it lives on I hope she enjoys it and you know I had painted the doors and stuff like that and walls and I left a lot of the stuff I couldn't fit it on the truck so we left a lot of the shelving there that was in that room all the white kind of I mean not expensive and I left the uh, the whole uh, workbench area that my husband had made for me I thought well you know it was really strange they bought the house but they never ever came to do a walkthrough at the end and never came again they looked at it once bought it and never came you know usually when you purchase a house you do a walkthrough you know make sure everything's working at the end not even the realtor the, the realtor was their son and I was kind of like, wow, that's kind of strange. But I guess they figured, I guess we were honest and just didn't, uh, didn't bother. So it was kind of, kind of weird. And I really wanted to meet her and, you know, talk to her about art and stuff and the, and the room. But um, I never got a chance to. So I hope she's enjoying that. And I'll put that link below because that was really fun to make that. If you like working with clay and you want to make something for your studio that's kind of yours or you're or interested in decorating your doors uh, in your room which I you know loved doing that and I can't wait to get into my studio the house so I'm going to do some murals on the walls I even have my granddaughter thinking of what she's going to do because I'm going to have them do um, some of my, my three granddaughters do some murals on the walls in there so it should be fun but this is lots of fun so I'm gonna let this dry and um, just so I can see the moon did the moon Callie got the moon in there and um, I can't wait to see what Callie's doing and this is just so much fun I, I definitely I ha I've never done a bottle you know I've worked with so much clay polymer clay but have never done a bottle taking an old bottle and making it just so cool so and I've got a cork uh, top for this so I don't know what I'm going to do with that if I'm even going to bother I may not but I do I'm trying to find some string or twine or ugh, I can't find where I put it I'm going to have to run over to the cottage and look in the boxes because I wanted to wrap around and then hang some beads so I may not be able to do that in this video but um I'm sure going to try. So I'm going to get back to that and I will be right back. Okay, so I watered down some black and I've got my sponge and I'm going to go over that 
with the black but I'm not going to do it on camera because I really have to concentrate and I told you like I'm just really not focused because I've got so much going on so I want to make sure that I I get it done right so I don't mess it up for you guys so I'm going to just rub that all over there and then let that dry and then I will do the same thing with some gold or silver or copper kind of mix it maybe okay okay so I'm working on putting the black on it kind of tones down the colors quite a bit so I'm just kind of you know going in and what I did was and I forgot to mention when I after I put all the things on like the moon and the hearts and all that stuff and the the little bottom pieces I did go in with my stamp and indent them you know impression put the stamps impression in there so they get give them some uh, texture instead of just a flat object so you can see that I um, I did do that. Boy, it looks so bright on there. It's not really that bright. Let's see if the light. So I went in and stamped over all the things that I had put on because the background was stamped. So I thought, except for the, the uh, goddess, the little goddess lady there, I didn't stamp her, but the flowers and the hearts and even the moon and all the bottom things, I just took, you know, went back in with this stamp and just, and I got this at Michael's for like a dollar. It was in one of their dollar things, so I think, I think that's where I got it. So that's all I'm going to do, just keep going over with the black and letting it fall into the crevices. Crevices? Is that how you say? It? I don't even know, but just giving it very watered down coats of the black, and then once that dries, I will go over it with the the gold and the copper and the silver. It's really hard when you ha can't find all your things that you you know because I keep thinking of things I want to do and then I'm like ah I can't find it and I definitely would have added you know gears and keys and all the things that I have uh, bottle caps and I mean all odds and ends of all kinds of things can go in which I would have done if I could have found them. So it kind of tones down and evens out the colors a little bit better. So, um, and it gets into the the cracks, the black, because it's you know more liquidy, and it fills in and just gives it a very mystical, magical. And I gotta say, you know, living here in this little log cabin has made quite an impression on me. Um, you know, I loved being by the ocean, but this is definitely so much fun. And I, and we live in a holler. That's what they call it, a holler here. It's the Appalachian word for, I guess, hollow. And we had a visit from one of our neighbors. He came to visit us in his tractor. What a nice guy. And, um, he told us this is a holler. So we're kind of in a little valley so sometimes it gets dark here a lot a lot sooner than it does when you're driving you get out of here and you go down the road and the sun is still out and you're like oh wow it's kind of so funny but it's very magical and I think my bedroom is my favorite spot in this house so it's really different you know than living in the by the beach but let's see you see that all the black is getting into all the little crevices. And it's just coming out cool. So I'm going to let that dry and then I will be back. Okay, I've added some copper and I'm just dabbing some of the copper color on here 
and I didn't even water it down so I'm just using it straight see that hopefully at the end I'll take a picture I think it'll come out better with my phone camera I just think this the lighting in here is just not up to what it should be but we'll get it so that's all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be putting the copper and then going over with the gold and I'm not diluting so I really want it to be in there So I'm just wiping it on and then just taking it off. Try to get in the little crevices all around and uh, we'll see what happens, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I went in and put some more color back in and then went over it again and again with the black and the gold and the copper and you can see it's just layers and layers of cool colors and it's just um, just love it I have so many ideas for another one so I can find all my stuff and what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go over it with this starlight varnish it's got a little bit of glitter in it and see how that works and um, one of my jewels fell out so I'm going to have to glue that in I wish I had my hot glue gun, but I cannot find... I found the guns, but I have to find the little glue sticks. So I'm just going to use my Aileen's and just get that in back in. And I'm really thinking this is so much fun. It's definitely going to go in my bedroom. And I'll show you a picture of that. Oh, well definitely I was thinking that maybe I'll use this as a little vase you know and I have some really pretty dried flowers that I've dried uh, my daughters have given me some flowers and I always you know dry everything up so I was thinking of doing that and having it in my room so I really love it and I just found this little string and just put it there I can't hang any beads this is too thick I guess I could just wrap some um, wire right there I have some um, what do you call fishing fishing line I guess I could do that and then just hang some beads down but for now I'm just you know liking it the way it is I hope you could see the colors uh, I think you can my hands are so rough my goodness I have washed my hands in the last three months <laughs> so many times it's unreal it's like I hope they're not too horrible on camera but yeah it's really cool 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 and it feels so nice you know and I have more of these jars so you know what I'll be doing with them and I believe now that I think of it I think pepper like the big pepper seeds came in this one and I think the other one was salt big salt chunks of salt. I think so I don't remember but I know I have like three of them so I will be doing and using these and maybe uh, giving them away as presents gifts for Christmas if I could get some done and if I could find all my things that I really want to do so I hope you enjoyed this this was lots of fun I'm trying to hold it to the light so you guys can see the colors and everything you know it's just really hard to get at night to get a good shot and um, if it was daytime, I could take it outside, but I got to get this done, so we'll have to maybe another time take a picture of it outside. But it is so pretty and chunky feeling and beautiful, and I enjoyed this so much, and I hope you did too. There's the jar. It's a little dark. Sorry about that. I've got a lot to finish in here, but I just strung up some lights for now, some fairy lights, <laughs> just to make me happy. And there, hey, little light went on. And um, see if you can see the jar better, but you really can't. It's really hard. And I just wanted to show you where I'm at with my room. I have a lot more to do, but for now, you know, it's getting there. I have some things hung up. I have, like I said, I just threw the fairy lights up. I've got a 
reconfigure them some way. I don't know if I want to keep them like that or not, but for now, and here's some things that I made, you know, I like to hang up, and I have tons more that I've got to get out and just find everything, you know, that's the thing when you move, just, and it, we, it's been packed for so long, you know, it's not like we moved, we packed and then went right into another house, it took so long that, uh, and I did mark boxes and things, but it's just a matter of finding the box that you want, you know, and I had to paint this room because it was all that dark paneling wood. It was horrible. And you can't really tell the color. It's kind of like a, it's called sachet. So it's kind of like a lavendery color. It's very pretty, very soft. And um, then the curtains here I put up just quickly. What I want to do is I want to wrap scarfs on that window with those curtains as the background and kind of use, incorporate it. And uh, I've got to get some more tons actually of scarves that I want to hang down on that and make it very cool. And that's a bench that opens up and it has storage in it. So it's great. I can put stuff in there. And those are the pillows from my other house and my other bedroom in Daytona and then that I've had that hanging little fairy there from my daughter Jillian for gosh so many years and that's a little dresser uh, that I use for um, little things you know pajamas all that stuff underwear all that and those pillows there on the bed if you can see they're just white they have like a, a design on them they're really pretty but I want to go over them and make them very different so I have to figure out what I want to do with that maybe strips of material and just do something funky with them and make them very gypsy looking putting beads and ruffles and uh, not really ruffles but fringe and you know doing some if you have any ideas let me know I've been trying to look on YouTube videos and see if I can find something that I want to do and um I did knit some flowers, not knit, I'm sorry, crochet some flowers that I, I'm really wanting to put on them too. So if you have any ideas, let me know, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for being here. I hope I was able to inspire you, and there are just so many great artists out there playing with bottles and polymer clay and doing magnificent things. I hope you'll go check them out. I will put a few of the links below. And of course, my total inspiration, Miss Callie Black, the witch. Um, she has been doing these for a while and I've wanted to do one. So finally did it and I have enjoyed myself so much and I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I love you guys and please don't forget check out her video I'm sure it's going to be marvelous this month I'll put the links below and anything that I've talked about products and things I will try and put all the links below for you okay and leave me comments and don't forget to give me a thumbs up love you guys bye bye and please don't forget to come and join us over at the Gypsy and the Witch link below